when you reach a high enough level in any particular racket sport, you can transfer the skills to other racket sports. So I started with tennis, I learned how to be a coach in tennis, then I moved into some squash. Now, I feel confident enough to say that I can pick up any racket that's got strings. If it's got strings, it's a racket. If it doesn't have strings, it's a bat. You wanna argue with me about that, you can do that, no problem. So um, I feel confident that I can pick up anything that, that was a racket and a ball and play okay. Uh, you know, I might need to learn the tactics a little bit. I might need to learn maybe some changes in movement, but I might surprise a lot of people. And if you've played a high enough level, you would be able to do the same. Now, there's something called racket thon or racket lathon. I'm not really sure how, it, if there's an L, it's how it's pronounced. And I don't agree with the definition here because you play table tennis, badminton, squash, and tennis. Now, it's a table tennis bat. Fine, okay, I'm just being picky now. I'm just, you know, and that's a, you know, that's, that's a way of playing it. And there was a time when it first was introduced when Stefan Edberg, who used to be world number one, winner of Wimbledon, uh, was playing quite a lot of squash and he got quite good. I don't think he turned professional or anything um, because he played after he retired. But it got me thinking, do you think you could beat a professional tennis player at squash? I don't know, nowadays I couldn't because I can't move. But when I was younger, yeah, I think I, I, think I could. Um, do you think you could beat Federer, Roger Federer, at squash? I don't know how much he's played. I don't, I don't even know if he's ever played. I'm sure he's played, but I don't know how much. Do you think you could do it? you think you could beat Rafa Nadal or, you know, Novak Djokovic or any of the women who are playing at the moment? I, I don't follow tennis. Um, so I don't really, really know. But... Do you think that you could? And if you're a really good tennis player, really good tennis player, do you think that you could be a professional squash player at tennis? I don't know. Um, I'm curious. Now, we used to have this person at the club that I used to play at, a place in northwest London called Wembley and Sudbury. It was a little club, two squash courts, which where I first started to play, had about four different tennis courts. And there was this, there was this chap who came along every year and in the summer, he started playing tennis and he was flicking his wrist because he'd been playing squash all through the winter. And just before the end of the summer finished, he just managed to get his tennis strokes working. And then he'd start playing squash. And then it was just towards the end of the, the winter period when he just got his wrist working again. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing, I can't remember the guy's name, but it was really funny. He spent half or most of the season adjusting to the new sport and then going back and playing squash. And that was quite common. There were a lot of people who played squash in the winter, tennis in the summer. Uh, and I don't know whether they do that near you, but it's pretty funny. Um, there's no reason why they shouldn't. But if you're the kind of player who takes a long time to adjust their technique, it's not really a good thing. And it was so funny to see him struggle and then get really good at the end of the summer or the winter season only for him to have to start literally again from the beginning in the new sport anyway that's it so do you think you could beat Roger Federer at, at squash I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no I don't think I could beat him if I could move a little bit better yeah I think I could beat him. I challenge you Roger if you're out there you're watching this and you want to play squash with me I challenge you um you know see what happens anyway that's the question tell me what you think this video is part of the Let's Talk series. You can see the introduction linked in the text description. On the screen at the moment is a subscription button. If you think my content is interesting, please consider subscribing. There's also a list of the other Let's Talk videos and another video that YouTube thinks is a really good fit for you based on what you've been watching. And remember, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya.